So what are the job opportunities if you learn AI course? If you learn all the theoretical concepts and applied knowledge of AI, what types of jobs could you get? So I wanted to give you a brief overview of the spectrum of jobs you can get. Of course, if you're a brilliant software engineer uh, who also knows AI, this course is so designed that you should be able to crack an entry level uh, AI or machine learning engineer or data scientist at all of these companies that I'm talking about right now. Of course, these companies also, in addition to testing your knowledge of AI, they also test your knowledge of software engineering, which we do not teach in this course. That's something that you have to learn as part of your undergraduate or graduate or work experience days. So you can, but at the end of this course, if you've done the course phenomenally well, you stand a very good chance of getting into tier one product based companies like Google, Facebook and Amazon. So if you do your, if you build a phenomenal portfolio, go through all the assignments, do the course well, and if you're also a good software engineer, you can easily move into entry level. I'm not saying you'll, you'll go as a senior scientist or a principal scientist. I'm saying you'll be able to get into a entry level data science or machine learning roles uh, at, at tier one product based companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon. The next set of companies are, uh, it's unfair to call them tier two because they build great products. But in terms of compensation, they're slightly different from tier one product based companies. The tier two product based companies like Cisco, Oracle, Teradata, there are a lot of these companies um, which have a lot of machine learning openings and data science openings today. So that's another set of companies where uh, based on how skilled a software engineer you are, you should be able to make it. There are also a lot of startups which require machine learning and data science expertise. So there are a lot of product based companies, product based startups, which are looking for it. I've seen, I've seen job openings at a wide spectrum of startups, both in India and abroad. And uh, if, if you're in India, there are a lot of, there are a lot of services companies. There are tier one services companies like Infosys, Wipro, Cognizant, Mu Sigma, et cetera. There is a massive amount of requirement of data science specialists and AI engineers in these companies because these companies provide services to their clients and their clients come from a wide spectrum of areas, everything from banking, finance, insurance, uh, stock market, stock trading, healthcare, uh, you name it, you name it. They have, they have clients everywhere. And all of these clients are trying to use uh, the services provided by these tier one services companies to solve the AI or data science problems. There are also tier two services companies, which are smaller uh, boutique services companies, which specialize in data science. And there is a lot of, lot of market, lot of openings, even in those spaces. The most inter interesting job openings I've seen are actually non-IT companies. Uh, so all the list that I've just shown on this page today, uh, right now, are all IT companies, right? They're, they're, they're software engineering companies or they're computer science companies, but there's a huge spectrum of non-IT companies uh, in healthcare, in finance, in trading, in, in, in a, I've even seen, I've even seen some machine learning openings for companies which build agriculture tools in manufacturing, for example, BMW, uh, uh, BMW has openings for AI engineers and machine learning engineers today. So there is a huge spectrum of openings, not just in IT companies, but also in non-IT companies. So there, there are openings in a wide spectrum of banks that I've seen because banks want to improve their solutions using advances in AI and machine learning because they're sitting on tremendous petabytes of, petabytes of data and they want to leverage all of the data to create better products, better services for their customers. So when you're looking for a job in AI, in addition to looking through all the all the traditional companies, either services or product-based companies, also keep an eye out for non-IT companies because there uh, you'll have, you have a much smaller team and you get to work on a very, very nuanced, interesting problem, right? Um, so that's, that's the fun. So the space is open in front of you. You can look at any company and I'm hoping that if not today, in a very short duration from now, maybe in the next five to 10 years, every company will have data scientists and machine learning engineers um, solving tons of problems and improving lives and services for customers.